Uh. Well, I found my friend. He's my riding buddy today. We're gonna go ride Sandy's. Hey, they don't have the. Do they have? The, they don't have the crazy floodlights on this time. Okay, this is gonna upset. Me. Why? Why? There's. They charge you sixty-two dollars to get in. Well, when you have the tax, they open all this wonderful stuff. You're gonna get hungry, obviously, and their food options in there are not the best, and then you can't get back into the park. That's crazy, but whatever. Yeah, so apparently because of COVID, they don't want people coming in and out. That is really weird, but uh, whatever. Uh, so, you go straight in at 12. It's a little after 11.30. All right, guys, so I'm headed toward the temperature tax. So let's see how this goes. Oh, they have the, they have the big scanners. It's like a machine you stand in front of with these little mirror circle things that it scans you. So next is the uh, check-in area. In line for Sandy's Blasting Bronco, we, me, uh, Canopy Coasters here are getting the first ride on the first train of public riders. This is gonna be great. Yeah, guys, I'm getting one. I love their train. That's all I'm out of. Look, it's a baby Zen flipping thing. I'm happy to say they have actually improved the rides. I'm surprised the engine's working in this isn't. So it looks like they clean after every ride, and we just got off of Sandy's Western Bronco. We got one and a half rides on it. <laughs> How was that? Oh, awesome. The uh, backwards walk is nuts. Yeah. Yeah, going backwards is, uh, if you sit in the front going backwards is crazy. Like, it really yanks you forward because it doesn't have the shoulder restraint, so there's nothing to hold you in place. And um, it actually is a little rattly, just a little bit. Most of the broke down in the middle of her public ride. Right. Just sentiment things. <laughs> but yeah. Right. Well, I have to put my stuff in the locker, and I don't know if they're running it again. But some of you guys wanted to know if it's rattly. It does rattle in the valleys more so. It, if you're sitting in the front going backwards, it was pretty rattly. It's not real. It's not rough though. It's not painful or anything. But um. It was a little bumpy in certain places. We got our first successful run without any breakdowns. Hey, we got one and a half rides last time. <laughs> so we have, we're at two and a half now. Yeah, so how did you like that? Uh, I, I, instead of being in the back, you know, in front of the lap, whether you're trying the front row backwards or backwards forwards, I know it's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Basically, sit if you're in the back of the train in whichever direction is traveling, it's way better. Um, the two, I guess if you want to call those emblems, they're kind of like barrel roll down drops. This one pulls you toward the ground, and that one is really floaty. It's it's really bizarre. I love the way this ride is built, but um, too bad about the um, the bumpiness. <laughs> is that gone? But. Uh, when it when it hits the valley, it's like basically in that in that POV that got released on Instagram. When you hear that rattling, it's not as bumpy as it looks in the video. It's really actually not that bad. It's just noticeable. Um, but it's a really fun ride. It's very rideable. Um, it's got a good mix of forces, like crazy positive G when you go up the uh, the first half loop, uh, the first element, and then it's got some. Uh, Airtime, floater, <laughs> um, hang time. Great ride. It's really good. I hope they build more of these. I would love to see like a like a 200 foot version of this would be insane. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Huh? Yeah, I got... Yeah, I ended up getting one. The pacing on this thing is pretty crazy. <laughs> And yeah, as he was saying, there's three lockers. Like Hershey. Shell Razor. I mean, not Shell Razor. I want to ride Shell Razor. Sandy's blasting Bronco. And it's a really fun ride. Uh, for the smoothest ride, go for the middle. Um, for the wildest ride, go for the front and the back. For the roughest ride, sit in the back. <laughs> what, what did you think of this ride? I love their restraints. That's all that matters. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. Right? Yeah, the new restraints are really good. No over-the-shoulder things. And it has a better seat. It doesn't have that weird ridge in the middle of the seat like Maverick does. It's really good. Well, um, it is very comfortable. I'll give it that. <laughs> and because there's no upper body bracing when it hits the backwards launch you're just like whoa <laughs> you gotta really hold yourself up it's fun oh man this is a really good ride actually um it's kind of like a skyrocket too but a little bit different like i said it's got a mix of uh mix of forces Slip and spin. I don't think that's coming back. <laughs> oh, they actually like moved it, moved it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. They didn't. I thought that was like in storage or something. That's kind of cool. You can be under the coasters. Alright guys, we're, we're after several rides on Sandy's Blasting Bronco, oh I love this thing, we're going over to Shell Shredder. <laughs> Shredder. One of these days I'm going to get all the rides names right without messing up once. <laughs> but yeah, so I rode this last year when it first opened and it was really fun. So looking forward to it again. Last time, look, Shredder's down for maintenance again, even though it was running. That's what happened last time. It uh, it went down and they never reopened it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with Skylight Stream because I have not been on that and that seems to break down too. All right. I rode this once. I wasn't terribly impressed, but it was fun. It's better at night because um, there's like these green lights up there in the uh, like in the tower, like in the ceiling. It's really cool. Uh, it's fun, but it's no Reese's Tower. <laughs> but yeah, this is more like a... It's a thrilling observation tower. Fun for the whole family. Timmy's half pipe Havoc is pretty cool. If you can get... Um, multiple people in the car, the seats will rotate faster. But if it's just you, they don't really move, as you can see. I just noticed this. This is a new ride that replaced Invader Zem's Slip and Spin, which is in the back corner now. Oh, it looks like they're getting um, Jimmy Neutron's Atom Smasher running too.
Oh man, I gotta get some real good footage of this ride later. Nerve shot. like they improved it. <laughs> I don't remember it doing that last time I rode it. It, it was a lot more gentle. kind of looking forward to this because I don't remember it looking that forceful at the top. I remember it went up about two-thirds of the way and then it slowly raised itself up. I don't know if they modified the uh, ride sequence, but we'll see. Yeah, it was actually pretty boring um, when it first opened, so we'll see. Because I, 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 it shot up and then it was about to like just inside the upper area. And then it stopped and then just rose up like an elevator. And then it spun around once and dropped you. And I couldn't even tell if the tower dropped or if it just free -falled. It was so gentle. Oh, wow. Yeah. Interesting drop tower. Stream. I'm happy to say they have actually improved the ride sequence. How did you think? How did you enjoy that? Good. I drew the top. Glad it broke me because otherwise I wouldn't look at the top of the ball. But <laughs> great view. The drop was interesting. It was like a two-part drop. Yeah. I noticed that too, and it wasn't like that before. See, the first time I rode this, I couldn't tell if it was free falling or power dropping. This time it was like free fall, and then it sped up a little bit, and then bounced, and then just kept bouncing. But the uh, the launch was a lot better. It went up higher this time. There was more air time at the top, but it is still more gentle than your typical SNS combo tower. Going with Taco. It's not darn close, though. But yeah, it, it's it goes higher than it used to. Um, it used to barely go up in the inside before it stopped, but. Yeah, good ride. It's not the best, but it's great. And the view is nice. If you really want a good view, if you sit on the far side right there, there's an extra window that you don't, that you get to have going up. But everyone gets a view in New York on the way up. I mean, when you get up there, because it spins. It's nice. Wouldn't it be fun if it spun on the way down? <laughs> That'd be crazy. Like, if it went fast, dude. It spin on the way down, but you can't do it. Yeah. So... We're gonna go see what Shell Razor is open. Oh, nice! So we're gonna go ride that, I guess. Like disappointed. We're like, oh no! But it's this. <laughs> <laughs> so look, here's the Shell Razor vehicle. Yeah, this is actually the Shell Razor. Yeah. It, the that's why the cars have that design because they're named after this thing. Oh, yeah, this is close. <laughs> Fun. You've got to be kidding me. I did not pay $60 just to ride Sandy's Blasting Bronco all day. I don't know why. I saw it run earlier. So you mean I got to hang out here until 7 o'clock in hopes that... Look! It lives! I don't understand. No. I don't think so. Yeah, but see, this is reopening day. This this thing they should have. This thing should be one of the rides that's open. 
I'm surprised the intimate's working and this isn't. <laughs> huh? Yep. I mean, maybe that's a good sign it'll open later. I don't know. I mean, pretty much every time a ride goes down, it says close for maintenance, but. I don't know. Did they? Okay. I d I've never seen that. It's a Wait, I think one of them is for the back and the other is for the front. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, comment below if you know what this is for, guys. I don't know. So, we got 30 or 45 minutes for them to do their checklist before they open Shell Razor. So, we're gonna go see what's the deal with Shredder. And chances are they're gonna tell us it's closed and we have to go ride Sandy's, which I'm okay with. <laughs> we're, we're getting in line for Shredder. Nice pictures of this airtime hill later. <laughs> pull out my camera to film Shell Razor, it stops. After a slightly bumpy ride on uh, Shell Razor, I mean, bah, <laughs> Shredder. We got evac and now we're going to Shell Razor before we, we break down and get evac off of that too. <laughs> we got two coasters today. Two, one ride we got stuck on and had to get a half cycle. And we got evac on the other. Great. <laughs> oh man. So let's see if we can get a hat trick and break down on um. Wait, does that mean I have the shredder trick? Because I didn't get a full ride. He didn't get to have that wonderful experience of the car self riding and going into the station. So he got like. 0.95 Zero shell razor, and that was a bit rattly. <laughs> um, I don't know if it's worse than before. Because it was always rattly. They make you sit in the wheel seats, that's why. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I've, I've done that. I, I've sat in wheel seats many times, but maybe I, uh, maybe because it's like less weight in the train, too. It's just kind of. But that pothole's gotten really bad at the bottom of the drop. I didn't feel the pothole. Really? Maybe I think it's more on the front. Like, yeah. yeah. It was like. <laughs> like, whoa, okay. But yeah, fun ride. I love this ride. That launch, it's been too long since I've been on that launch. <laughs> That's like the best part of the ride. The drop's good too. There was some good airtime on the drop. 
but I'll definitely ride it again. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, the smoothest coaster in the park I can't really fit on. But one of the maintenance guys said they worked on it, made it bigger, or whatever that means. <laughs> I'll try it, I guess. Thanks anyway. for helping the turtles. Your restraints are welcome. Unlocked. Watch your head oh. and shells. No more shell razor for because I know that looks short, but they're only running two trains and they have to clean between every cycle and they only let you sit on the corners. So that line is a lot longer than it looks. I'm gonna try this again because I really like this ride. Hopefully I fit this time. We'll see. I'm not doing that. I tried. It's just, it's too cramped. It's not worth it. But these guys are gonna have some fun on it. Longer the smoothest ride in the park. I mean, I think every ride here is a tiny bit rail, but nothing really so exciting. Yeah, I don't know. So razor, my head was hurting just a little bit, but maybe that's also because I'm hungry and thirsty. <laughs> I don't know. So razor looks like a piece of candy. I might go eat it. And yeah, no, I point out that the I point out when rides have rattles, but it doesn't make them bad. None of the rides here are really bad. Honestly, even this, I love this thing. I just, I can't, I can't fit in it. But, oh yeah, look, look, Coca-Cola. I don't drink Coca-Cola, but man. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm sure they're going to make you buy it. So I'm going to have to buy a drink and then keep the bottle so I can refill it. stuff in a locker in American Dream. <laughs> they're trying to charge me $20 right now, but the uh, Sandy's ride officer nice and trying to help Let's see about that because that's crazy 20 bucks like i could see if it was like five or ten or something but that's insane start eating before i show you guys look at this simple sad looking little hot dog guess how much it costs in the comments below <laughs> or i don't know whatever no i'll tell you it was seven dollars this plus this eleven dollars that was crazy highway robbery in this place. There's a point in the day when I break out the big gun, which will be being used exclusively on the channel after a while. Now we're just, I'm just going to be uh, doing some uh, off-ride and, and, and shots and pictures, so uh, maybe get some more rides in on some stuff later. We'll see. It's pretty nice. Yeah, this place is kind of... You're trying to get pictures and stuff of... It's so empty, the rides are hardly even run. It's like I just saw Sandy running. I run over there, there's nobody waiting again. Uh, Skyline Stream doesn't cycle very much. I wanted a video of it. Oh, look. Yeah, and it'll be like another five or 10 minutes before it cycles again. Uh, I haven't seen much of Shell Razor. Go see if that's going a little bit. Uh, but yeah, not a very exciting day in the park today, but did get a lot of stuff done. Um, by exciting, I mean like people running around, everyone screaming and having a blast. I mean, it's been exciting. Oh, like they're going to show, show right there. Like, it's been a fun day, don't get me wrong. But there's not a ton of people, so just like last time, it's kind of hard to get good shots because you don't really get much of the rides going. But um, I'm going to try to see what I can do before the day's over. And uh, maybe get on some more rides before the end of the day. I just got another ride on uh, Sandy. Two rides. I never I never thought I would see like a young ghetto Karen. But there was this one girl. She was just like insisting that they let her sit next to strangers. And yell and talking about, oh, they've been doing this all day and blah, blah. Which they haven't. No park does. Like... Even Hershey when they pack trains, they don't pack trains with like all, like alternate parties. They may anyway. This ride is fantastic. In the end of the day, in the end of all So you can't that launch is extremely forceful. Here you get some rattle. It's pretty pretty uh, noticeable. This is a little bit less noticeable. You get more flutter on that first gentleman. Oh, uh, the second one feels a little bit more like a barrel roll down drop, and I think it is when it rises up to here. 
is a slight rattle, but other than that, the ride's really smooth. It's really forceful. I recommend sitting in row one. Like, this is just a fantastic ride. And going backwards is a lot more fun than going forward. But yeah, that launch is super forceful. But you can kind of hear where it rattles. But again, it's not bad. I've ridden it a few times. No headache or anything. So that's good. But yeah, I see uh, cell razors lit up real nice. So maybe I'll get some good high quality cops up here right now. But first, I want to ride it a couple more times before the day is over. Hopefully it's still open. Uh, we're going to try to get probably my, probably my last ride of the day. I want to ride Shell Razor maybe a couple of times. But it's been a fun and a very interesting day here. <laughs> like, I got overcharged for lockers and hot dogs. <laughs> I got yelled at by a Karen. <laughs> I got evac from Shredder. Oh man, it's been a day. But uh, yeah, I've been having a good day. Have you been having fun today? Oh yeah, like the opening day at any park, you know, slow down, everyone's getting back to the Yep. But I uh, can't wait to ride this. Woo! On the Shell Razor. And once again, it, it gave me a slight headache. It's so weird, it didn't used to happen. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna go check out Sandy's. The park closes in three minutes. So, uh, and it's just getting to that point where night shots are going to be excellent, but it uh, doesn't look like we'll be getting any. Or very many. Sandy's look really cool with light. Oh. Comes to an end. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around for the entire video uh, and joining me on this day once again here at Nickelodeon University of American Dream. I had a good time, rode some good rides. I love Sandy's, it was definitely worth the wait. It was really fun. Um, and uh, I wish this was running in the dark. Guess we'll have to come back another time then. Such a good looking ride. I can give you guys a tour of them all afterward, but everything closes at the same time now. It's not like how it was before. So we'll have to do that another time. I mean, I'll come back at some point. Apparently the water coaster is open. Uh, the website said coming soon. So I have a reason to go to DreamWorks. Uh, that'll be cool. Um, well, yeah. I had a good time here. Like, it's a fun park. And it'll be nice when the, uh, when the off-season rolls around. This place will be open. Well, everything else is. So. Uh, it was fun. Got to hang out with other enthusiasts. Got to shoot videos and take pictures. Good day. And more adventures soon. I can't wait. The website lied. The water coaster was running today. I gotta come here now. <laughs> it looks great. Alright guys, thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, you know what to do. Staple that like button, leave a comment, follow on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and subscribe here on YouTube. Sure means a lot to me. Goodbye, Internet. Thanks for watching.